Shucklehead. Prepare to laugh your face off. Okay. What did Charizard and Greninja have in common? I don't know. What? They're both Zapdos intolerant. Haha, <laughs> that joke was super effective. The galaxy is full of unanswered questions. But none so important as who would win in the fight. Join me, TJ. And me, Dark TJ. As we take you on a quest to discover the power Ooh, inside Amiibo and settle in Smash, which Nintendo All-Star reigns supreme. This is Smash Supremacy! What's going on, Pokemon? Hey there, Team Flair. It's me, TJ. And me, the original Dark type, Dark TJ. Welcome to episode 11 of Smash Supremacy. Multiply that number by 65 and it's still shy of the total number of Pokemon listed in the official Pokedex. But I think we're nearing the end, because clearly they're out of ideas. Today we test the tried and true against the shiny and new. Our first challenger breaks free of his Pokemon trainer, leaves Squirtle and Ivysaur behind, and takes to the arena as a solo act, the flying fire breather Charizard. Who will do battle against the wet, silent, but deadly, semi-aquatic, slimy, two-toed, three-fingered, blue ninja, Bushido Big Shot, Leonardo. More like Generation 6 Water Dark type Pokemon number 568, Greninja. Let's get my dark homeboy in here. Joining the battle is our Power Ranger Mega Force Black Ranger buddy, action-ready actor, Azim Rizk. Dark TJ, what's up, man? Thanks so much for having me on Smash Supremacy, bud. For sure, brah. You look good, and your eyes? Piercing, man. Yeah, man. I flex my evil in front of the mirror daily. Gotta stay in top shadow shape. Hey, Azim. Oh, hey, TJ. I didn't realize you'd be here. But I'm one of the hosts. I'm always here. No, I know it's your show. I just kind of thought that Dark TJ would have taken over by now. Really? <laughs> I'm sure you have a couple episodes left in you. Anyways, what do you think? Should we get started? Show me your moves. Charizard's specials come straight from his own game. Red Goliath's flamethrower attack really brings the heat. But the more it's used, the less effective it becomes. Kind of like your sense of humor. In Pokemon, Charizard learns Flare Blitz at level 77, so we know this one is no noob. Smog over here is so committed to putting the hurt on, he even damages himself on this move. In addition to being a fire type, when Charizard evolves from Charmeleon, he also becomes a flying type and can be taught the HM Fly. But this move is less about cruising the sky Ways and more about wing slapping you senseless. And finally, this Charizard also knows the fighting HM Rock Smash. Puff the Flaming Dragon reduces Rock and Rival to rubble with a heavy headbutt. Semi aquatic ninja Pokemon, semi aquatic ninja Pokemon, semi aquatic ninja Pokemon, ninja frog and Smash Bros. Pokemon. I've never wanted to punch you in the face more than I do right now. Greninja proves he's a star with his standard special straight shuriken shot, an advanced water move learned at level 75 in the Pokemon games. Charge that wet boy up and it's so scary you'd have to change your pants even if it wasn't made of water. This Greninja possesses the ghost type ability Shadow Sneak. I pretty much invented this move. In true ninja fashion, he moves unseen, emerging from his shadow with a stealthy strike. In another nod to his water type nature, Greninja can perform Hydro Pump to deal damage as well as propel himself in almost any direction. Either that or he forgot to use the bathroom before leaving the Pokeball. And finally, this Greninja rounds out his moveset with the normal type move Substitute. He summons a Pokedoll or Log to absorb his enemy's attack and answers back with a wicked counter. Log, 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 log. Everyone wants a log. You have some finely tuned battle instincts, Azim. What do you make of this Poke matchup? All right, what we have here is a generational turf war. You got the OG Charizard. He's part of the OG 150. Then we have the newer Greninja. And I'm not going to discount Greninja right away just because of his newer status. Yes, he is a bit of a bud right now, but I believe that his reputation could grow and flower into something as wonderful as Charizard's. The real question here is who's going to win in a fight between them? Now, we have the obvious answer here. Greninja is water type, Charizard is fire type, water beats fire, ba bam But I think we're discounting one thing here. Charizard is also flying, okay? And Greninja is also dark. And what ended up deciding it for me was when I was a kid, Gengar would always destroy me. I'm talking going through Charmander after Charmander. So you finally do it. You evolve the Charmeleon just so that I could have Charizard. Oh, you finally get one Charizard, and he's ready to go. So you send your Charizard out, I would take that flying attack and ram it right on him. Nope, and what happens? <laughs> Dead. I would put all my faith in Charizard. All of my faith in Charizard. He's a betrayer. Charizard always betrays. So on this one, folks, 
I'm gonna have to go with the new generation and pick Greninja. I hope that's what you chose, Dark TJ. You know it, a dog. Greninja's got Charlard beat on every level. Sure, obviously water is super effective against fire, but here's the real clincher. Greninja is a dark type, and everybody knows Charhard is afraid of the dark. Why do you think he's always carrying a nightlight around on the end of his tail? Crybaby. Greninzies for the winsies. Okay, I'll admit it. I'm almost convinced, but there's one thing I can't shake. Your moneymaker. Poke logic and type advantages don't factor in Smash. Besides, Greninja's water abilities only represent a small aspect of his total game, and Charizard is far from dependent on his fire moves. Not only can he absorb a lot of damage, but his raw power is devastating, and for a fire type, he can turn the tide of battle real quick. It also might be worth noting Charizard can perform a fighting type move in the form of the HM Rock Smash, and fighting type moves are super effective against Dark. Even a small flame can cast away the darkness. Greninja's dark side could very well be his undoing. Your dark side could very well be your undoing. Heh <laughs> cause I'm your dark side. Let's power up the amiibo. And settle it in smash. <laughs> Greninja might be the water Pokemon, but he was the one that got hosed. Greninja needs to take that six foot tongue of his and clean himself up, cause Chari made a mess of him. Out of 50 fights, Charizard made a statement with a monstrous 43 wins and an 86% success rate. It's probably worth mentioning that because of the recoil on Fire Blitz, King Charlemagne actually defeated himself more than Greninja did. He got totally blindsided. All right, score one for me, TJ. Did our pocket monster players at home get it right? No, you did not. 61% of you put your faith in Froggy and Pokey croaked. And the other 39% had faith in our fiery flying friend and foresaw a future where Charizard fights again in round two. It was more like a game of Frogger than a smash match. Of course Charizard won. Because when Charizard is not on my team, he's gotta win. Cause he's a betrayer. When the Red Ranger was here, he got it right. Just saying. Hey Azim, tell our player pals at home how they can follow you and keep up with all the action. You can follow me at Azim Risk. That's my first name and last name. And that's me on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. Please check it out and stay tuned. I've got lots of fun projects coming out. And later this month, I'm going to Trinidad and Tobago. We are gonna have a blast out there. We're doing a martial arts tournament. Hopefully I'll see you there. I'd go compete, but the more Amiibo we get, the less room I have on the shelf for all my championship trophies. Thanks for having me on Smash Supremacy, Dark TJ. And TJ, I guess. Yeah, man, now get out of here. I don't want any more of your wrongness to rub off on me. Bye, Azim. See you later. It's almost time to announce the winner of the Mystery Amiibo giveaway. But first, let's check the combat comment of the week. The combat comment comes from Majora's Crash in response to last episode's poll question, Are you Team TJ or Team Dark TJ? They write, Personally, 
I'm Team TJ. He's pure and just, just like a true hero. And heroes statistically win more than villains. It's just a matter of time, Dark TJ. Hate to break it to you. And the real comment of the week comes from Danny Rodriguez, who writes, Team Dark TJ all the way. Our Dark Overlord ruler of the universe is the best. And don't you forget it. Time to tally up and tell which team takes it. Oh, so glorious. Oh, so predictable. Nice win, DT. Thanks to everyone who voted. Now to reveal the mystery amiibo. A delightfully dark day calls for a decidedly dark delivery. That's why the mystery amiibo is a new in-box North American Best Buy exclusive dark pit. Or if you prefer things a little lighter, you can opt for the new in-box North American Target exclusive Rosalina. And the winner is... Wild Shiny Kirby. Congratulations, Wild Shiny Kirby. Keep an eye on your YouTube inbox to tell us which one you pick and where to send it. Next episode, we're joined by Abdallah Smash 026 to do battle between a pair of amiibo you might have had to camp overnight outside some store to get. The Fire Emblem favorites, Robin versus Ike. We're also super pumped to announce a totally cool contest. But you'll have to tune in next time to find out what it is. See you next time. Thanks for playing. Dark Side out. Okay. Take your cursor and click on one of those spinning anime dudes from that game I already forgot. That's Robin and Ike from Fire Emblem. Oh yeah, Fire Emblem with uh, Mike and Ike. Right, got it. You know what, honestly, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. Only like 17 people outside of Japan have even played a Fire Emblem game. That's not true. A lot of people like Fire Emblem. Awakening gets a lot of love. No, no seriously, these numbers are 100% factually accurate. Did you know if you scan any of the Fire Emblem amiibo into Codename Steam, you unlock them as playable characters in the game? That's assuming, of course, any of the 17 people who actually play Codename Steam happen to be among the 17 people who've heard of Fire Emblem and also managed to be one of the 17 people currently in possession of a Fire Emblem character amiibo. Well, it's not as bleak as all that, but no, seriously, these numbers are 100% factually correct. Okay, here we go, all you people out there. Just admit it, you don't know who either of these characters are outside of being in Smash from some Japanese game and being absurdly rare unicorn amiibo. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play a little game. Just, just close your eyes. Close your eyes and click at random. DT, you're compromising the integrity of the poll. Just, just go for it. It'll be a fun surprise.